In this video, I'll break down how to use my Creator Bundle Pack, which is for sale on my website, WinkinsMedia.com. Now, this pack comes with a whole bunch of really cool tools that will just help speed up your workflow. Now, this pack is really optimized for horizontal videos, for like long form videos. However, you should be able to use some of these assets on vertical videos, but again, they're not specifically optimized. But however, you should still be able to use a couple of these. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and just break down how to install them and how to use each of the individual um, assets. So once you purchase the pack, it should just send you an email with a download link and it should just send you a zip file called creatorbundle.zip. All you want to do is just double click on the zip file and it should just unzip this folder called creator bundle. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to go, click on home, go to movies, go to motion templates, and then you want to find your titles folder and then you want to drag the creator bundle into your titles folder. So if I open it up right here, the creator bundle is in here and then here are all the different um, assets that come with the pack. So just as simple as that, you, you don't want to like rename it or mess with the file at all literally it's just simple drag and drop take the entire folder again and just drag it into your titles folder which should be located in your motion template folder so once you have final cut open what you want to do is head over here to your titles and generators category and you want to head over here to the creator bundle and as you can see here are all the assets that come in the pack now I just want to give you a basic overview of how to use each one of these assets so the first one is an adjustment layer so we take the adjustment layer and just drag it onto the clip. Now an adjustment layer, what it allows you to do, it allows you to apply multiple effects onto multiple clips at the same time. So instead of having to in, like, individually color grade each um, of your clips, you can go ahead and just apply the light or the color grade onto the adjustment layer and then just stretch it out so it spans all the clips. It just makes your life a lot easier, so I'll show you what I mean. If I select this adjustment layer, head over here to the color tab, and let's say I want to add like a color board, but I want to, of like kind of like boost up the saturation. Just again, this is not going to look very good, but I just want to kind of use this as an example. Obviously, that, that that looks horrific. But let's say we also want this section of the clip. Instead of like a, a copying pasting that, all we got to do is just simply drag the adjustment layer, and there you go. So anything you do to the adjustment layer, it's going to affect everything below that adjustment layer. So it just makes your life a lot easier. So let's go ahead and just delete the adjustment layer. And we're going to apply the call out effect onto um, the clip right here. Now this is going to be very customizable it's already pre-animated so what you want to do is head over here now we can go ahead and just decrease the scale we can take the position and just move it over into a place we want so let's say right here now we can also edit the color so let's say we want to make this like a purple color you can go through and mess with other colors right here and let's go ahead and let's type say we want to type in like micro um, a microphone. Now, as you can see, the text is cut off. You can change the font. Or we can head over here to the size and we can just adjust the size. We can adjust the position. And let's say we want to make the text like a black color and we can just head over here and there you go. So, so you can go through and just customize it. So we go ahead and play the clip right here. Now you have this really cool call out, which is just really, and just the text just kind of types on. And you can go through and mess with the other settings. But that's just a very basic idea. And as you see, if I go ahead and, and play it, it just fades out. Now you can extend this and make it longer or you can make it shorter. It's not going to affect the animation because I specifically designed it so extending it out, out longer or shorter is not going to affect the animation. So let's go ahead and just delete this callout and let's go ahead and head over here to the camcorder overlay. So we're just going to drag this onto the clip right here. As you can see, it has a little, a little time code and basically you can see the time code matches up with the time on your actual project so that just makes your life a lot easier. We can select on it right here. We can go ahead and type in something else. We can just type in like live or you know whatever you want, streaming, whatever you want to do. We can take this button and let's say we want to just move it over. It's not this um, isn't super customizable. You can really only change the text. You can't really change anything else. But this is just a very basic overview. And now you can extend it to make it longer or you can make it shorter. So let's go ahead and just delete this and go over the next overlay. And this is this really cool like follow animation. So we drag it onto the clip right here. Now this again is already pre-animated just like a lot of these assets. Now you can go through as you can see the follow button, the color. You can go through and change what the text says, the font, the size, all that kind of stuff. You can just, over here you can disable or enable the drop shadow. Let's say we want to drag this over here. We want it to be somewhere in this position and we want to scale it down. Now you can basically apply, now if you, if you this 
this like checkbox here basically this means it's animating so if you don't want to animate you can just uncheck this and it should be okay now what you want to do is you want to take this drop zone and you want to find a logo or a profile picture or whatever you want to end up using so let's say we have um this a png profile picture select the text layer select on the drop zone literally click on the drop zone click on the photo and then click on apply clip select this and we can go ahead now we can just adjust the scale and we can adjust the position we want to scale up a little more and then just kind of get it into the position that you want as you can see right here now this really cool like profile picture inside here you could do a logo or anything you could do a video but in most cases using a still png or jpeg image is just a better option so we go ahead and play right here you have this really cool like follow animation and then it just goes back out so there we go there is this really cool follow animation now let's go over to the next asset there's really cool like instagram tags so we play right here now you can go ahead and edit what it says you can decrease the scale you can move the position over pretty simple you can adjust the, the again the position the size the font all that kind of stuff pretty simple nothing too complex but it just saves you a lot of time instead of having to do that all from scratch i already pre-built it for you now this lower third right here we can go ahead and place it on here now we can go through and you can adjust whatever you want you can adjust the text whatever the name says the colors all that kind of stuff i would do all that first and then go to around the middle of it and then take the position and then just drag it you know wherever you want to be obviously in most cases you're probably going to want to be in this position right here but i would adjust all this stuff first before adjusting the position or for some reason it kind of kind of mess it up so we play right here you this really cool like kind of like stop motion lower third effect and again you can adjust you can edit all the text this one right here is pretty simple it's pretty basic now you can't really customize the position of this you can just go through and edit the name so we can just go right here and let's say we want to do like um winkins um media and then again you can adjust the text we can go over here change the color to be like a green and again you can do the same for all the other assets a lot of these titles are very customizable so we go back and play the video and just kind of show you what it looks like again you can extend it to make it shorter or faster whatever you um, end up liking over here this really cool kind of just slides on and then the lower third just slides off. Pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and just delete this right there. And the next thing I wanna go over are these really cool like paper rip overlays. So I go over here and just use these photos. So I just have, these are both just still images. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the paper rip overlay, drag it on top of your photos. Now this is really cool. Now if we can select on this, as you can see, it doesn't look like it's very customizable. However, under this pop-up, as you can see, you have all of these different rips. So let's say we wanna use paper rip nine. So instead of having to import each individual overlay, I literally put all the overlays in here. So let's say we want to use paper of nine, take this right here and then hold down option to duplicate. So these need to be the exact same. Now all we're going to simply do is just change the blend mode. The top one, change to screen. And this one right here, the bottom one, change it to stencil alpha. Now you can actually go over here and now you can adjust the scale and the position of the photo. Of uh, this photo right here, not this one, this photo right here. Now select all, select these three and then create a compound clip option G and we'll just call this one and then as you can see now you can see the the other photo be below it so that's just really simple it's just I thought just a very nice like time saving feature just have all the paper overlays in one plugin so it's just gonna make your life a lot easier the next I want to go over is this really cool like Polaroid frame overlay so we take the Polaroid frame and just drag it onto the clip right here as you can see it just has a drop zone so now we can go ahead and just apply like a photo or link a photo to it so let's say we want to use this photo again i would use like a png or jpeg image select on here go to literally click on the drop zone click on the photo click apply clip and now you can go through and we can adjust the scale the position the rotation the um rotation the position the polaroid now this is not pre-animated at all you have to actually go ahead and animate yourself but this is just going to save you a lot of time pretty simple pretty easy but it's just really nice to just not have to do that all from scratch so let's head over here to the next asset now this really cool like pop in animation should we go ahead and just basically um place it on top of the clip now this is really good for like logos or screenshots so what you want to do is you want to have your playhead kind of basically in the middle and now you want to head over here and we want to go ahead and just scale it over and move the position over now this again already pre-animated so let's select a logo we want to use so we use the final cut logo select on it click on the drop zone select on the logo apply clip and now you can just very simply just adjust the scale and adjust the position and again already pre-animated so I'll wait for final cut to render it already has motion blur already animated so selecting right here as you can see 
this really cool logo just pops in and then it go ahead and then it just pops out so it's just really cool it's just, a, it's just a small little effect but it's just really nice to have it because Final Cut's like scale in keyframing feature just isn't that good so I thought I wanted to use um, kind of Apple Motion's keyframing just to make it look a lot nicer. So let's go ahead and just delete this title and head over to the next one. So the next one is this really cool like social media lower thirds so we go ahead and place it on the clip right here. Now again you can go through and edit the text, you can, edit, you can add like a logo or a profile picture, you can edit the username, you can adjust the scale of the drop zone if you want. We can adjust the size, the text, the color, all that kind of stuff. So it's just really nice, really just really simple. But again, just go through, customize it, and get it to your liking. I'll go ahead and just play play it so you can see what it actually looks like. So you see it kind of just like kind of like this really cool like ink transition kind of pops on. And then we can go ahead and wait for it to play out. And as you can see, it just basically like fades off. And again, you can extend it to make it longer or shorten it to make it obviously shorter all up to you now go ahead and let's just delete this and let's go over to the next one which is these really cool like split screens now there is a total of three so as you can see here's the first one here's the second one and then here's the third one so all you want to do is you want to take your clips and put um, put them on top of each other and you want to make sure the clips are the same duration now let's apply one of the split screens on top of it and we'll go ahead and just simply trim it now we can go through and all you will basically are doing is you're just adjusting the crop so the top one we want to adjust the right and left crop to get it into position um, that we want now we can select on this one and we're gonna edit the right crop so you can see the third video really just simple as that put place on top adjust the crop so instead of having to do it it's just a lot it just saves you a lot of time than having to go ahead and actually like individually mask it out and all that kind of stuff just a very very good time saving tool play right here now you just create like a very simple easy split screen um, effect now let's head over here to the next one which is this really cool like subscribe um, animation so if we scroll down as you can see here is this subscribe animation we'll go ahead and place it onto the clip and again you can do um, the drop you can apply like a drop zone so if we head over here to the media window you want to again use like a PNG or a JPEG image select on it go ahead and click on drop zone select on your image click on apply clip and we can go ahead and just decrease it now you can go through and scroll down just kind of get over get over what, what you have you can add the text add the background color all that kind of stuff some of the stuff you can't edit because I just feel like it wasn't worth editing or kind of like you can't you can't customize every single asset every single part of it but I've only I only published the ones that I thought were like actually useful so we go ahead and play it right here again you can edit the channel name if you want we can go ahead and play it right here and then as you see it just pops in a mouse comes up click subscribe and then it just simply fades out so there you go it's a really cool subscribe animation and again you can adjust the position where you actually want it head over here to titles and generators a couple simple ones a text bubble you can go through and edit this I also added like the width so you can add like you know this really cool like like kind of like a um, uh, stroke effect around the actual thing and add the text pretty self-explanatory that's just a really simple effect for some reason that just doesn't come with Final Cut also head over here to text with a long shadow this is also a very simple effect as you can see go over to the angle and we can go ahead and stretch out the angle we can edit the distance just kind of like gets it really cool like 3d um, extrude effect very simple but a very useful effect it's just something that's just really unique and you can adjust all these different settings let's go ahead and delete right here and we'll do is head over here to vertical or horizontal select it uh, place it on top of your clip as you can see you can add like a vertical video and the background is already pre blurred uh, pre blurred for you now what you want to do is you see I have this clip right here which is seven minutes and seven seconds what you want to do is you want to take this click on control D seven minutes and seven seconds you want to basically make it the same duration now what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer click on the drop zone and you want to make sure you are selected on basically you want to select on the very first make sure you select on the very first frame click on apply clip and as you can see now we can go ahead and play it if you don't click on the very first clip you might have an issue with the drop zone just kind of freezes basically what the drop zone does is wherever you click on the video is where it's going to start so if there's not enough media it's going to freeze so you want to make sure you click on the very first frame and you want to make sure these durations match up now as you can see we can go here now we can basically adjust the scale we can adjust the position 
we can adjust the width we can make the background even more blurred just really simple again this is just is a very nice time saving tool play right here now you have this really cool like vertical video with again a really cool blurred background now let's go ahead and just delete this title and jump on to the next one so the next little ones are this really cool really cool like end screen templates so what you want to do is you want to select the template click on e which will basically bring it to the end of the timeline i think i can't remember exactly but i think it's like the last 20 22 seconds of the video you want your end screen to be that long so around 20 seconds so again you can't really add the video so you have to actually go into the youtube creator studio but all you want to do is again just 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 place this at the end of your video and then again go into youtube uh, the youtube studio creator um go ahead go ahead basically go into the uh, your youtube studio app uh, you think you can only do it on desktop and then just simply add it there should be tons of videos if you need help i can definitely go ahead and just kind of walk you through it kind of how to add end screens but as you can see head over here i just play it and you see it's already like pre-animated and then you can edit the text subscribe your username whatever you want just pretty simple as that and again just go to the um, youtube creator studio um, desktop version to add the actual elements and again i would say the last 20 22 seconds of the video is where your end screen should be so let's go ahead and head over to the next one which is this really cool like youtube template so you place it onto the clip right here now this isn't super customizable it's a little it's pretty basic but we head over here again it's not really animated or anything like that it's just a really cool way of like let's say you're talking about a video you've done in the past or you're talking about somebody else's video instead of just screen recording on your phone or taking a screenshot this is just a very unique way of displaying that video so if we head over here we go ahead and select on it now let's say we want to use like we want to select on a thumbnail so let's say we want to use this or you can also do the same thing you can select on a video so place uh, so make sure you're selecting the title go to drop zone and then click on let's say this thumbnail click on apply clip and now you can basically like adjust the scale now you can go through and edit the video title edit the views add a profile picture and edit the channel name you know, now you can't edit these because just didn't i just didn't feel like that was worth i'm um, going through and editing all that you can really only edit this main part of the overlay now the last plugin i want to go over is this really cool like picture in picture template so what you want to do is you want to find the clip you want to use so we want to use this clip right here then we go ahead and select this clip and what you want to do is you want to click on option g to create a compound clip and then just rename it whatever you want whatever keep whatever helps keep it um organized so we're just going to name it clip just for the sake of the tutorial now what you want to do is you want to notice this time code right here basically the duration of this compound clip 19 seconds and two frames that is really important so what you want to do is you want to head over here to titles and generators you want to take the picture and picture and you want to go ahead and let's just drag it to the end of the actual of the timeline now what you want to do is you want to select on it click on Control d 19 seconds and two frames you want the time to be exactly the same what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of the um, actual title plugin now head over here to your media now anytime you create a compound clip it's going to automatically update it into your actual like media window so you can see that the compound clip this is the icon for a compound clip and the clip this is the one that we just created so head over here to the beginning of the title what you want to do is you want to click on this drop zone and you want to basically as you can see you want to select you want to go ahead and hover your mouse and it will kind of snap into place you want to select on the very first frame and that basically will like avoid any issue of the drop zone just kind of freezing so if we go ahead and play the clip or wait for final clip to render as you can see you can adjust the scale all that kind of stuff you can adjust the outer width so we go ahead and play right here as you can see see now the video is just playing through so we go ahead and play right here see the video is just playing now you can also like now you want to, unfortunately you can't really add audio to the actual picture in picture i don't it just doesn't really work so if, if you can't really get audio from the drop zone what you can do is you can take the clip and you can go ahead and just drag the clip underneath the actual um the actual like title plugin or if you uh, or if you're recording your audio external that's obviously going to be a little bit different so we go ahead and we can just right click on this and we're going to go ahead and do is click on detach audio and then we can just select on this clip and there you go now you just have the audio file and now because you synced everything up the audio should be completely synced up so if you have any issues with the audio not playing in the picture in picture you can either use the audio you externally recorded or you can just detach the audio from the clip and make sure it lines up and there you go just as simple as that and now you have this really cool like picture um, and picture and now we can go ahead and let's just take in this clip and we can just drag it below uh, we can just drag it below this clip right here 
And as you can see, there you go. Now you have this really cool like picture in picture. It's just gonna save you a lot of time using this really cool plugin. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this pack really helpful. Again, it is for sale on my website, winkinsmedia.com. Link is down in the description below. And if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.